In my research work, I study the decisions to invest in human capital. Just like we own a house, a car, mutual funds, goodwill, copyrights and other forms of assets, we humans own another unique asset called human capital. It is the collection of our abilities, knowledge and skills that we acquire throughout our lifetime. Just like other assets, human capital can be used to generate returns in the form of personal growth and earning opportunities. We can also grow our human capital by investing in our education, health, training, personality development and by gaining new experiences. Growing our human capital increases our value to ourselves, our employers and our society and helps us generate more returns. My research studies the decisions to invest in the growth of various forms of human capital based on the returns that investment will reap. I look at the decisions of different entities, including individuals, families and organizations. I study how families decide about investing in the health and education of their family members. Is there any interlinkage between the decision to invest in health and the decision to invest in education? And if yes, then what are the kind of policy implications it has? I also study how individuals decide about investing in their own health. For example, whether seeking treatment at a private hospital over other facilities provide better health outcomes, whether people who have lower reluctance towards private hospitals get better outcomes than people who have higher reluctance. These questions led me to another question, that rather than focusing on growing our human capital, can we actually find out if we are utilizing the current levels of human capital efficiently? For this purpose, I look at the case of human capital of hospitals, which is its management, and try to see if there is inefficiency in hospital management. To know more about the findings of my research, please feel free to get in touch with me.